Hey everyone and welcome to learning how to trade vertical spreads. Um, these are the strategies that I use every single day within the markets and it's the strategies that I found have worked best for me and I'm hoping I can help you all get a little better understanding of why I maybe use them and how you could potentially use them yourself. So first off, let's actually describe what a vertical spread is. So a vertical spread um, involves the buying and selling of an options with the same type. So it's either puts or calls. And then they also have the same expiration, but they have different strike prices. And then the term vertical itself comes from the position of the strike prices and how they have the same expiration dates compared to a horizontal, which those ones have different expiration dates. So there's actually four different types of vertical spreads, but we have two categories. So the first one is debit spreads, and the other one is credit spreads. So bullish strategies, we have a call debit spread, and we also have our put credit spread. And then for bearish strategies, we have our put debit spread and a call credit spread. And now I will go into explaining what each of those are. So first off here, we have a call debit spread, which I said before is bullish. Um, a call debit spread is when you are purchasing a call option and then you're selling another call option with the same expiration date but just a higher strike price. So this debit spread will result in a net debit. So you are paying this to open the trade. Our max profit we can get with this trade is the spread between the strike prices minus that first net premium you paid to open the trade. The max loss is that premium you initially paid on the trade. That is the most you can lose. And then the break even point is the long call strike price plus that initial premium you paid. So now going over an example, so you can maybe get a better understanding of actually looking at this and how it would work out. So let's say we had the long call strike price of 100 and the short call strike price of 105 and we paid $2 to open this trade. Our max profit is the width of those spreads. So 100, um, 105 minus 100, we get $5 minus our premium we paid, which is two bucks. The max profit we can get is $3 on this trade. The max loss, as I said before, is the premium we paid. So the max loss we can get with this trade is $2. The break even point on the stock's price would be our long call strike price, which is 100, plus our premium paid, which is $2, which would then give us to 102 um, strike price is our break even. So the next one is the call credit spread, and this is a bearish trade. A call credit spread is the selling of a call option and also purchasing another call option with the same expiration date but a higher strike price. So this one actually results in a net credit. So when you open this trade, you are receiving a credit from opening up the um, contracts. So our max profit is the net premium we received when we first opened the trade. Our max loss is the spread between the strike prices minus that premium we received. And then the break break even point is our short call strike price plus the net premium received. So now going over an example with this one just to show it. So our um, opening of this trade, we still have the same short call strike price of 100 and then our long call strike price is 105 and the premium we received for this trade was $2.25. So our max profit we can get with this trade is just the premium we received, which is that 225. Our max loss is the width of the spread, so 105 minus 100 gives us $5 minus the premium we received, which was 225. Then we get 275 and that is the max loss we can take on this contract. Our break even point is that short um, call strike price plus our premium, which gives us uh, 102.25, which is the break even price on this trade. Going on to the put debit spread, which is also another bearish strategy. It is when we put uh, purchase a put option and then we're selling another put option with the same expiration date but just a lower strike price. So just like the call debit spread, this one results in a um, debit as well when we open the trade. So our max profit with this one is the spread between the strike prices minus that net premium we paid. Our max loss is just that initial premium we paid to open the trade. And then the break even point is the long put strike price minus the net premium we paid. 
So now looking at an example with this one as well. So if we have, let's say our short put strike price is 240, our long put strike price is 250, we have a spread of $10 between those two sp strike prices, and the net premium we paid to open that trade was 375. So our max profit for this trade would be that spread, so $10, minus the premium we paid, which is 625. So that is the max profit we can make on this trade. The max loss would be the pre initial premium we paid to open the trade, which was 375. A break even point is that long put strike price minus the premium we paid, which is equal to 246.25. So that would be the uh, price of the stock that would give us our break even. Now going on to the last one here, which is the put credit spread and my uh, personal favorite. Um, and this one is a bullish strategy. It is when we are selling a put option and then buying another put option with the same expiration date but a lower strike price. So this one results in a net credit. So when we open the trade, we are receiving a credit for opening that trade. Our max profit is the premium that we received to open it. Our max loss is the spread between the strike prices minus the premium we received. Then the break even point is the short put strike price minus the net premium received. So an example for this one, if we look, we have our long put strike price at 40 and our short put strike price at 42, and we are receiving a 75 cent credit on this trade. So our max profit is once again, just that premium we received initially when we opened up the trade. Our max loss is the width of our spread. So this is a $2 wide spread minus our premium, which gives us um, 125 as a max loss on those contracts. The break even point is that short put strike price minus our premium received, so that's 75 cents, which will give us a stock price of 41.25. So now a little more on why I actually like to trade spreads compared to just outright um, calls and puts or any other strategy. So the first one being that it's very cost effective. I think that trading spreads is a great way for smaller accounts to be able to get into the game but don't have to have as much capital in order to get into the larger cap stocks like an Amazon, a Google, or some sort of stock like that. Because those premiums are insane and the risk management that you're working with when you trade those, you have to have quite a bit of capital in order to enter those trades. With spreads, you can have a $1, a $2 wide spread where it doesn't cost as much to actually open those, but you can still get um, open or into the trades with a lower amount of capital, but can still catch the moves as the stocks either go higher or lower, depending on the strategies you use. The next one being the probabilities that come along with spreads. So if you look over on the right there, I have a little diagram. If we look at a call option, let's say it costs us $100 to open up this call option. There's two ways that we can make money on that. We either need the stock to go up a lot in price, go up a little bit in price, and those are the only ways we can actually make money. If the stock stays flat, time decay will kill the contracts and we'll get max loss. And if it goes down a little bit, and if it goes down a lot, we're gonna lose all of our money, if, obviously if we don't close it out before expiration. But let's say we do a put credit spread that's a little bit below the um, price at the moment. Um, there's many, many more ways that we can actually become profitable with that. So obviously, because it's a bullish strategy, if the stock goes up a lot, we make money. If the stock goes up a little bit, we make money. If the stock is flat and it doesn't go anywhere, because we have our strike prices below where the money or below where the price is at right now, we still make money because theta decay is on our side. And then even if the stock goes down a little bit, but still isn't within our short strike price, we make money. The only way we actually can lose money on those trades is if the stock price goes down a lot or below our short put strike on those put credit spreads. So just looking at that, for a call option, two out of the five ways you can make money. So 40% chance that you're going to make money on those options. If we look at the vertical strategies, we have a four out of five way that we're going to make money. So I'm always going to take an 80% chance of making money over a 40% chance. If someone came up to you today and asked you, hey, I'll give you an 80% chance or a 40% chance of making $100, what are you going to take? You're always going to take 80. So that's why I like to have the probability stacked in my favor, and that's why I like to t trade spreads. And then I touched on it a little bit, but the last way that I like spreads, um, and it's only with credit spreads, is the time decay is actually on your side. So once again, with the call option, if the move doesn't really go anywhere, over time you have theta, which is just killing your decay, killing your contract's um, premium, and it eventually will go down to zero. 
with credit spreads, it's the complete opposite. You have theta working against you. I mean, with you, excuse me. So as time goes on, you're actually just collecting that premium into your um, account, and it's a great way to um, have the stock not go anywhere, but you're still making money. And these are the reasons that I like to trade the spreads. Um, and now looking on how you can all start to trade spreads on Thinkorswim, I will go over how to do that. So I just pulled up a chart of Apple here, and we will go to this trade tab right here. I just pulled up um, the 15th of October. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's whatever expiration date you want to use, but I'm just going to show you how to actually set up these trades on this platform. So the first one that we went over was the call debit. So we come over here to the call side, look over here. We come to, let's just say we want to do the 150s. So we come here to this one right here. We right click, we'll have buy come up, come over to this side and come right where it says vertical. Click on vertical, up will pop this um, order entry on the bottom. So you can see that we have, um, the amount of contracts comes right here. We have the stock we're looking at, the expiration date, the strike prices we're looking at, what um, calls, it, that type it is, so calls, and then this is the price for this contract. And you want to make sure if you're opening up a debit or a credit that this price right down here says which one you're wanting it to be. So I said that this one is a call debit. This is good. We have our calls. We have our debit. We know that this is what we are looking to enter. So now let's do a call credit. We'll do the exact same thing. Let's just say we come to the 160 um, strike price. You right click. You come to sell. And then you go to vertical. So now here, it's the exact same thing. We have our contracts, stock, expiration, strikes. Still have calls because it's a call credit. But now right here, you can see it's different. This is what you want to see when you're doing a credit. So the other one was green, had debit, that was a call debit spread. This is a call credit spread. You just need to make sure that you see this on the bottom or you did not enter the trade correctly. So the next one we're going to go over is the put debit. So come over here to the right side where it says puts. Come down to a strike price. Right click on it. And we are going to go buy. Once again down to vertical. And it's the exact same thing, um, basically, as the call debit spread, except for now we have our, our types, our puts, and we have our debit once again. So that's how you do a put debit. And then last but not least is the put credit. So we'll come down here to the 160. We'll go sell. We'll go vertical. And boom, the exact same thing. Types, puts, strikes here. And we just always want to make sure that we have our credit when we're doing credit spreads and our debit when we're doing debit spreads. So this is how you can trade um, vertical spreads on Thinkorswim and hopefully it gives you all a little better understanding of how the spreads work and how you can utilize them in your own trading and hopefully from now on they can help you pull more profits out of the market.